Hey everyone, Trey Mick from Magnet Forensics, and today I'm excited to show off Axiom's support of Android images acquired using a gray key, which was recently announced by GrayShift. That's right, gray key can now acquire from both iOS and Android devices. Instead of resorting to Android ADB or Debug Bridge, you know, logical backups for Android handsets, you can now acquire a full file system image with gray key. At launch, GrayShift supports the latest Samsung S20 and S9 handsets and will be adding more supported devices to their list throughout the year. But let's take a look at how you'll want to load one of these Android Gray Key images into Axiom for analysis. So I'm in Axiom process. I'm going to navigate on down to Evidence Sources. I'm going to go into Mobile. Android, load evidence, and keep in mind, just like with iOS with Gray Key, the Gray Key is going to produce a .zip file of your full file system. So I'm going to select image. I'm going to navigate to the folder that has my Gray Key Android image. Simply select open. Make sure not to unzip the Gray Key image. Now that we have this loaded into Axiom, I'm going to go ahead and just simply select next. And here you can see we have the full files.zip. Now, going to the processing details, one thing I want to call attention to that we added new within Axiom 4.8 is extract text from files using OCR. So this is going to include both PDF documents as well as pictures. Now, something to keep in mind with this is it is going to add additional processing time. So you can run this on the front end or you can run it later within Axiom Examine. So completely up to you. But I'm going to go ahead and leave these unchecked for now. And I'm going to head down to Mobile Artifacts and here you can see we have a lot of artifacts already pre-populated. So looking at things you know, within operating system, we can see things like the Android SMS, application power usage. Uh, we have some more usage history down here as well, installed applications. So a lot of good information and a lot of Android artifacts that we do have support for from within Axiom. But from here, I'm just going to go on down to analyze evidence. And once we hit analyze evidence, this is going to kick off processing. So we're going to hop over to Axiom Examine and take a look at what that looks like once Axiom's done processing. So now that Axiom's done processing this full files.zip, as you can see here, we have a number of artifacts that we've been able to parse out from this Android image. First off, let's go from our case dashboard on over to our artifacts view here. And as we're taking a look here, we have a lot of media parsed out. We've got some web related, a little bit of chat, a little bit of social media, and keep going down. We have some mobile artifacts along with a lot of operating system artifacts like the Android usage history here. But what we're gonna do is go ahead and navigate to the Android device information. And for this, just to show you some of the information we can pull out, as you can see here, we do have the device ID along with the Bluetooth address and the name. So we can see this was in fact a Galaxy S25 G. And as always, you can always cross-reference that using the details panel and source link that we provide as a part of this. So make sure to check out Gray Key's new Android mobile extraction capabilities, and we look forward to hearing from you. We'll see you next time. Thanks.